But you know, ferns we see everywhere. Ferns have evolved to occupy lots of different niches. They're all kind of all over the world, especially in rainforests. And for the most part, they're gonna be the focus of this video when we talk about pteridophytes. So here I am in the Pacific Northwest, and as you can see, this is a landscape that's totally dominated by ferns. And I didn't go to some fern park <laughs> to set up this shot. I just went to the closest park five minutes from my house. And you can see that ferns are everywhere. This is kind of the dominant ecology of the region. There's a canopy that's dominated by the Douglas fir tree, but also, let's say, the western uh, hemlock, um, western red cedar. And then an understory that contains a good amount of flowering plants like Indian plum, ocean spray, Oregon grape, sometimes salal, but dominantly the humble sword fern. Ferns are absolutely everywhere in this landscape. They're so great at living in the understory. As you can see, it's pretty wet here on this kind of cold midwinter day. And uh, ferns absolutely thrive in wet conditions, as do um, lower plants, bryophytes. Now, how did ferns get to this point where they're so successful in this particular ecological niche? 